Hello and welcome back to Caves of Good. So, I mean, as promised, we're going to be doing some spicy stuff today. Um, there's not really much reason for me to go to the deep jungle. I don't think there's, there's no real quest associated. I don't think there's any achievement. It would be good for me to know those kind of things, right? But I want to check out the Baroque ruins. It's a, something I've never really done. Of course it had to be fungled, didn't it? Spot an ink weep. If you recall, um, Pax Clank has some really... Oh, that's an actual twinning lamp ray, isn't it? Yeah, it is. Um, Pax Clank has some actual decent, like, reputation. So at some point I might go back and kill him. I hate that. But, you know, it is what it is. Alright, we're gonna t Temporal Fugue. Okay, I think that was actually a kill. You know what I should do is try using the geomagnetic disc on them, huh? Disintegrated by you. Well, our twinning lamprey is actually fine. Like I say, a trending lamprey is one of our best, one of the best pets, or not pets, shouldn't say that, companions that one could possibly have because they will never die. <laughs> High Dervish of the Sightless Way. They have a psionic flawless crystal dagger. That's the kind of, that's the level of spice we're dealing with here. Oh, and plastic for sneakers. Amazing. <laughs> Finally. <laughs> Our sixth boot. Excuse me. Excuse me. Sir? Come back here. <laughs> Resonance Minor. Okay, so what I want to do now, real quick, is uh, I'm going to go through all of our shoes. Mod with tinkering, fit of the cleats. Ju uh, leather boots. Mod with tinkering, fit of the cleats. Plastic for sneakers, mod with tinkering, fitted with cleats. And then jeweled sandals. Oh, we can't mod these. We can't mod. Oh, wait. Yeah, we can. We just can't mod jeweled <laughs> sandals. Why? Excuse me, devs of Caves of Cud. I, I, I want to report a bug. I cannot mod jeweled sandals with cleats. Excuse me. Excuse me. What? are you talking about I, I don't understand honestly what what is the problem um so I've got some interesting stuff this, these are the baroque ruins the baroque ruins are ruins in the deep jungle they're gonna have some spice they're gonna have some some real tangible like spice um, things are gonna get really nasty very quickly. Deep uh, slumberlings, for for instance. Which we can take out pretty handily. The, there's like a couple of things I'll be a, a little worried to encounter, including gamgams. Gamgams are giant wheeled um, robots that just kind of, you know, tri they just charge through you. And, uh, you know, they're, they're, they're super nasty. Um, they, they really do not care much for your way of life, which is to live. We do have, like, absurdly... Oh, there's some more plastic for sneakers, so we'll grab those. Now we officially have enough shoes. Really should have just hung out here, huh? Got some... I really gotta try this. Um, takes, okay, all right, look at that. Seven damage, then 12 damage, then three, then six, then nine, then seven from the jewel-encrusted magnetic disc. And then finally the magnetic disc stopped. Did it go back into my inventory? Yeah, it did, okay. So geomagnetic disc confirmed good.
Uh, my companions are really not doing a great job of killing the Trinning Lamprey. Uh, for sure, this is like, the Trinning Lamprey is one of the most annoying things. I just noticed the geomagnetic... <laughs> the geomagnetic disc. All of my companions are throwing them. And they're hilarious. They are hilarious to watch. There's this little flying purple thing. I was like, what is that? This little purple thing flying around as all of our companions throw one, each of them. Oh, that's, that's really funny. I was kind of worried about that. I, yeah, I still don't know how I feel about the geomagnetic disc. I know how I feel about training lampreys. They suck. Just like, don't want to have to deal with them at all. Of course I am being made to do so. Kind of hope they don't follow me. So we have a oily high dervish of the sightless way. They have what? Sonic ceremonial vibro kopesh. Wow. Yo, that's pretty spice. That's quite the meatball there, and we killed them in one blow. Never mind. I mean, this thing is cool. The Vibro Kopesh. It's one of those weapons. Oh my god. The stupid Trinning Lamprey. I think it's dead. I think it's gone. It's never really gone, is it? I love that we're at the level where we can just like hit a, a deep slumberling as if it's nothing. Do you want to um, rest a little bit? Because I'm actually at a dangerous... It's either rest or, um, you know, eat an herbary. You can probably see the which I prefer, you know? Okay. Excuse me? Stasis field, huh? So what is this? Uh, Vigor Sap. I'm not sure what Vigor Saps do, but I imagine not good things for me and my health. Okay, I think that the Lamprey, or the enemy Lamprey is gone for now. There's, there's gonna be another one soon, I'm sure. Uh, what was that? A quick sap? They must take your... I'm imagining they take your quickness away. That's really nasty. Ugh, I was kind of hoping that was it. That maybe I got lucky. I'm just trying to trying to get a bolt to go through all of them at once, which shouldn't actually be that difficult, but it is proving to be so. So temporal fugue time it is instead. I'm just gonna explore over here. This, the problem is, uh, you know, temporal fugue is not guaranteed to kill them. Yeah, there they are still. Man. Trinning lampreys are actually just the worst. They do a lot of damage too. Like if they were something I could ignore, that'd be kind of nice. Obviously, that'd be nice. I don't like that trinning lampreys are like the main thing I'm encountering in uh, 
in Baroque ruins. It's kind of killing the vibe. Okay. Hopefully they don't follow me down here. What was that? Oh, we got these guys. I'm really not sure what these things are like trying to do. They are 400 XP though, so I'm I'm kind of happy about that. They're also very easy to kill. I'm trying not to shoot my own lampreys, but it's happening. Ouch. Flawless, psionic flawless crystal warhammer is absolutely what I want. And that's a sleep beard, isn't it? That is a sleep beard. Uh, we're going to have to herbary up a little bit. Why are we confused? I am going to kill that... Sleep beard, but for now, psionic, flawless crystal warhammer. That's gonna be probably the best thing I've ever found for myself. I'm gonna treat these as scrap. That's not because I don't want them, but I I have two of them already. I don't think I can mod um Chris, uh, psionic weapons, right? Let me see here. Psionic. No, I can't. I can't mod it. But still, I think that it, that is actually worth trading. Because it's higher penetration. Um, it's higher pen, and it's also using our ego. Repair. I don't like that. I don't... Um, okay, let's equip that. And then unequip this. And then make sure we have that tree rep. You know, you want to have that tree rep. I don't know why my resting button has uh, stopped working, but it has. <laughs> so we have a psionic, psionic warhammer. I think that that is like one of the best things we can have. Obviously, the dream is um, Zeta Chrome. It always is. It almost doesn't really. It's like it's boring to say. Because, like, of course, of course we want Zeta Chrome. This is a seriously nasty situation. Oof. Okay, that was kind of nasty. But we made it through. I think the geomagnetic disc actually did really help in that situation because it bounced from one to another. Hey, there's some crystal goods. Uh, gauntlets. Flawless crystal gauntlets. Another Kopesh. Great sword. Some really decent stuff here. I don't know, like, at a certain point, it doesn't seem worth it to take crystal goods. Like, we, we don't need water. At all. These uh, gels are actually a real... They're really annoying down here because they're not... They're in no way an enemy. Did we fight that sleep beard? I don't think I did, did I? Okay, hold on. We want to go back upstairs. Zeta Chrome Arrow. That guy's got Zeta Chrome. Um, did I wonder if I grabbed the Sleep Beard? I don't have any Sleep Beard. Let's do get items real quick. Uh, I don't. And I think if they died, they didn't actually leave anything of, of worth or value. Hostiles nearby. I don't see hostiles. 
I'm not seeing them hostiles, my dude. I'm pretty sure that... Oh, is that another... Yeah, that is another training lamprey. Um, floating glow sphere, herberry, and a crystal greatsword. Hey, I just realized. Um, maybe if we can normalize the training, then they won't be nearly as much of a problem. There's a potential for that to be a solution here. I really don't want to get hit by all three of them. Oh my god, okay. Where's our lamprey? Why Why are they... Yo, my dude. Oh my god. We actually died. But it's, it's from something really stupid, too. It was a, it was a resonance grenade. Jesus. Not a, sorry, not a resonance grenade. It was a resonance... Mine. Ugh. Where are we? You know, it might be worth, instead of going to the ruins, why don't we go to a historic site? In the deep jungle. Memory of roast... You experience a sense of memory of roasted boar smell. Sure. Why not? Goat folk haunt. We should be on good terms with the goat folk, even the deep jungle goat folk. I did see the haunt there for a second. We get a free herberry for our, our troubles, which is nice. Okay. Yeah, let's go to a historic site. Let's see how nasty this gets. It's like, let's, let's trade up from ruin that killed us to... Oh my god. No. Why? Why, Cud? Why in the world did you have to do crocodiles? Oh my god. I am so sick of crocodiles. They're just like the only thing that I just don't want to have to deal with. And especially with our twinning lamprey. This is such bad news. Like, it's just, it just tells me that I don't want to do this historic site, not because it's difficult, but because it's tedious. Hey, you notice I'm still doing it, right? What I should do is set charge to uh, an ability. What is charge? I have charge, right? I just, I took charge. Yeah, it's not, it doesn't have a, a thing. Okay, so what could we set it to? F7 maybe? F7, temporal few. How did I forget that? Uh, F6? Tongue. Okay, yeah, yeah. Let's get... We, we, we don't have tongue, so let's... Lamprey died. No, it didn't. Don't lie. We'll, we'll give them a bit of a, a taste of their own medicine. As it were. Because charge will mean that they can't charge us and get a free attack. Instead, we may have the chance to perma-stun them right away. F6... And actually, I think that um, doesn't destroy. Where is it? Conk. Oh, I think it's in manu not maneuver stances. Demolish. Next five rounds, your chance to daze with the cudgel attacks is a hundred percent. Yeah, this is actually better. Oh no, it's it, it. Okay, so what we'll do is we'll take slam off this, um, and instead we'll put. Um, Demolish on F5. Yes. Yes. So that way we'll, we won't accidentally use um, Slam. 
nothing to oh wait whoops below us because we want to we want to perma stun like as quickly as possible so we'll charge this lad oh we're too close um so let's see we'll, let's demolish we'll shoot them then we'll attack them and then now we have like a hundred percent chance of like stunning them and then therefore perma stunning them Wow, we're already getting some nice stuff. Grab that nuclear cell. Flawless crystal. Why well, I keep ending with flawless crystal shard mail. How about some Zeta Chrome, my dude? Why are you holding out on me, honestly? So. <laughs> That croc just got, like, absolutely destroyed. Let's do a flurry on this guy. Oh, no! Okay, uh, no, we're fine, we're fine. Um, conk. Hate these crocs right now. Taking a lot of damage from something. Okay, let's do a wait. Stop because you hear the training lamprey taking damage. Of course it is. The problem is this, the training lamprey doesn't die, but it also doesn't kill. You know? It's it's an okay uh, companion for survival, but it's not a great companion for for actually like doling out damage and then that um dialogue coming up multiple times is not really fun so i might have to get rid of the trinning lamprey what an ironic twist right like my worst enemy is also you know not not a great companion Okay, I'm gonna set demolish up soon. Okay, demolish is up because I want a perma stun. There we go. That's that's how we don't get. That's how we don't lose our arms and legs. I I can't can't tell you how much I hate. Honestly, I would have preferred almost anything else. I can't tell you how how much I hate that we're fighting crocs again. I'm kind of hoping that's just a surface thing and not the full historic site. Please. I'll, I'll accept anything else. No, it's crocs. Oh god. Oh, we could do a race to the bottom. We could just do a mad dash. I don't know where a training lamprey is. I don't know why they're just not around ever. I don't know what they're doing. Hey, there's one chest. Of course we got lithos. This is basically the same, like the exact same uh, historic site again. The exact same one. Like I can't, I can't believe the gall of Cud right now. To hit me with his exact same horrid, miserable historic site after, like, just ridiculous amount of, of effort. Briny Marara de Boon. Seems like pretty good AV. And we had a quest to recover it. Um, yeah, that's basically Flawless Crystal. Plus three willpower. Ah, it's slightly, it's not flawless. It's just normal crystal. No, no, I, I can't, I can't. 
like I could justify it, I guess. It's just such a such a sucky thing to get cuz it's like you're going to have to choose between that 1 AV and 3 willpower, which is admittedly great. Uh, you know, I would love to have 3 extra willpower. I can't imagine how valuable this uh, armor is cuz it's going to be like basically crystal goods and then that have the notoriety of, uh, you know, a historic item. It's gonna be good. I figured we were not done yet. Okay, let's sit on, demolish. Yeah, geomagnetic disk is actually doing some good work. I don't know what's happening right now. What is that? Energy pulse. Something is energy pulsing. See, I, I hate that we're at less armor now. Because it means I have a much higher chance of taking, uh, you know, getting dismembered. Let's do a discharge. And a flurry. Okay. That wasn't too bad. Yo, stop it with that. Briny air of frogs. Is this another historic site of the same? I mean, that is, that would explain it. That would explain why we're having to fight exactly the same nonsense again. Doesn't make me happy though. Uh, having an explanation is not necessarily a good thing. We'll do a charge. Can't charge more than three spaces. Okay, can we do a charge now? Okay, cool. So they're stunned. We'll do a demolish. I hate this. So we just lost a hand. Oh god, I oof. I don't I can't honestly imagine a reward that would justify this. You might be asking at this point, why are you doing this? Why are you punishing yourself? You're not wrong to ask. It's really just like almost completionism, morbid c completionism at that. Um, like I, I just want to get whatever's at the bottom. And now that I've lost a limb, like we're already in it, I don't want to repeat what I've done. I do have the ability to recover my limbs one more time. Really is the last time. Like, I don't, unless, I do have some cloning draught, to be fair. So, you know, it isn't the last time, but it's getting there, you know. It's, it's beyond tenable. I should probably just use the disc. Okay, so they're stunned, so we should actually Eigen Rifle instead, so we do damage to the other one behind it. And then we can Discharge to do some more damage. Uh, they're, just, they're just not going to stop, are they? Okay, let's Temporal Fugue and then let my clones take care of it. You also might be asking, why don't you just Temporal Fugue like you were before? Just like wait for your temporal fugue and then let them do all the work it's a good point it's, it's something i should be doing the problem is that the temporal fugue is not actually super effective anymore it doesn't seem to be getting the job done no more like did uh, my clones are not smart despite the fact that i have a very high intelligence we gotta get rid of that guy. Okay, so 
How, like, are we continuing? Oh my god. Another, another Croco. Oh, he's actually hurting me pretty bad. Can we, can we kill you? All right. I need to, I need to eat some food. Fresh food. Let's uh, preserve some exotic goods. Lag root tuber. Cycle gland. Two of them. Mirror shards. Two of them. Ten servings of mirror dust. So that's nice. We are inspired. Let's uh, let's make something wild. Um, I kind of want to try some mirror dust, and um, kind of want to try some. We'll do cycle gland paste and phase silk. Why not? I don't think this is gonna amount to anything. If you get too crazy, then you get nothing. Kind of reflect 15 to 18 damage back at your attackers rounded up whenever you take damage there's a 15 to 20 percent chance you start phasing so that's kind of amazing um whenever you phase in you reflect 100 percent damage in the next three times you take damage so this is actually really good this is reflecting damage back and when then and then whenever you take damage there's a chance you'll start phasing could probably get me into trouble for sure um, but I'm gonna take the chance. So what do we have here? Anything cool? Nope, not really. What was that? Is that seriously more crystal? It was. It's just normal crystal shard meal though. I don't think it's worth taking. So there doesn't seem to be anything else. I don't believe that though. I think there is tons more. Yeah. And in fact, there is the staircase down. Well. Okay, we'll set Demolish on. See, this is where Eigen Pistols are really going to shine. I'm going to sprint back because I don't want to get cornered like that. More crocs. More crocs coming in from all sides. Your lower left arm is disabled. Oh. <laughs> I notice we no longer are using that weapon. The, the really good one. You know, the, the ego-based one. We're phased right now. Oh. Okay, our lamprey didn't, in fact, die. I thought for a second there was like, that. that was it. We still have 20 AV, which is good. That's the good news. How come we're missing so badly? We're missing like every shot. Okay, Lamprey is actually doing some work. Uh. And these crocs are just not going to stop. This is this is the run in which I took two historic sites on that had dismembering crocs. Okay, set demolish on. Stun them, shoot them. Conk You understand the logic of me doing this, right? Like, there is some deranged logic to it. It's like, well, as long as I'm dismembered, I may as well finish what I started, right? I am phased. I was going to try and make a break for the, the staircase down. Oh god, this isn't good. Okay, Dem that's where Demolish is great, because then I can stun one and then stun the other. Okay, let's go down. <laughs> There's another chest. Yo, what do we got? Weighted Edge of Ekapad, Jeweler Home. Anything good here? 50% of the time, the fates have their way. What? 
50% of the time the fates have their way. I don't know what that means. Okay, temporal fugue time. Don't want to deal with this. And I think I'm gonna leave. I, I don't care anymore. Whatever rewards are, are down there, I just like really don't think they're worth it. Um, we're gonna go to Bethesda Sousa and um, recover. That one clone is exactly where I need to be. You are a really annoying clone. Okay, enter. Okay, we regenerated our limbs. We're good to go. And I think I'm going to leave it there. Uh, we'll probably go to... I don't know. We should... Ch we'll check out the... How about we check out the death room? <laughs> as long as we're dying, uh, we'll check out the death ruins historic site and see what's going on there. Um, look how many freaking flawless crystal shard mails we've got. It's getting to be untenable. Actually, you know what? Bef just The last thing we'll do is I really want to hand in those fitted with cleats and I'm that's it's not that one right there is it no but I think we are close so let's do that real quick last last thing why are we taking why are we stopping so much six crystal long swords I uh, will eventually get that also I need to re-equip my did I? Why, why? What is going on? Yeah, the psionic weapons disappear. I'm convinced. I am convinced they disappear. I also don't know where my dagger is. I have a funny feeling it's in that historic site. Which, you know, long sigh, honestly. Like. It's. It's plus three ego, which is nothing to scoff at. I, I don't think I unequipped it, like, I didn't unequip it and drop it somewhere, right? I didn't put it somewhere? I th I think I was still equipping it. So I don't know what the deal is. I don't know, I don't know where my dagger is. Okay, that's the crystal long swords. Fitted with cleats is in here for sure. Serene Visage. We do need to do that one as well. This is the sated beetle, Betel. Uh, no Betel on this floor. This this one's sated. Was it in Bethesda? No, here it is. Fitted with cleats. Okay, here we go. Last thing we do. Um, ba -ba 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 -ba. What? Wait a minute. What? Oh, we we didn't get those shoes, did we? And I. Uh, are you kidding me? Okay, hold on. Mod with tinkering, fit with cleats. I think I don't actually have enough because maybe I think I died when I collected those shoes. This has been, I gotta say, one of the most exhausting episodes of CUD ever. Because now we don't have enough shoes. Such a simple, stupid thing, and I don't want to, like... I don't want to be done. Like, I don't want to say, oh, I'm like, I'll, I'll just do it next time. It's such a dumb thing. I just, like, want two shoes. And weirdly, that was the most valuable thing I got from that ruin dive. Let me, let me take care of this real quick. And then we'll end the episode. Do you have any shoes? You don't have any shoes. I swear to God. You have a Sphinx Salt Injector. I mean, I'll take that off your hands. Or vines uh no shoes okay um mayor nuntu you wouldn't have some shoes would you yeah you do actually that's nice all right oh and at lasting slippers you, you had two shoes perfect mayor nuntu you are my favorite nuntu you're my favorite nun too. You're the best. All right. Bethesda Sousa.
back to Bethesda Sousa and we're going to hand in this quest and then I'm going to end end the episode. What a what an exhausting set of affairs. I hate that ruin. I can't imagine like I I guess nothing at that stage would be great. Like, you know, you get to a certain amount of spice and like enemies are just not fun to deal with anymore. But I don't know, like, I have to imagine there's quite a lot of other enemies with equivalent um, kind of spice that, that wouldn't be so exhausting. Okay, so we're dropping these with cleats, these with cleats, these, and elastine slippers with cleats, drop those, two of them, and leather boots. And we're good. I accept your offering and gave you an engraved rifle. Wait, we don't know what it is. So it could be cool. Too bad it's a rifle. The rifle of the logical lake. <laughs> the rifle of the logical lake. Um, telescope cylinders. Yeah, slender. Grants you electrical generation at level 5. If you already have electrical generation, its level is increased. And it is a rifle so it's trade fodder all of that for basically nothing all right well let's go back to eat freehold and end the episode there uh i hope you did enjoy this episode if you did definitely hit that like button consider subscribing for more content like this um yeah it's it's been a trip honestly and i'm gonna end things by disassembling this mag hammer because I'm sick of looking at it. Cool. I'll see you guys next time. Take it easy.